perhaps you'd like to spin round camera people and have a look at the shabbiness of our kite making location which is a beautiful garden complete with a convenient dining table and Abdul has brought all this material and we're going to make the big kite first. Do we need the big sticks? Yeah, big sticks. I'm guessing, I don't know. I'm guessing we're going to need the scissors, which we've yes, made. Yes, scissors. yes, scissors. Is the weather good? Is ah, the good kite? weather, yes. yes. Okay. Is, there, is there a bit of breeze? And don't forget, this is the work of a world champion, so it is going to fly really well. Sorry that we put it down in the, in the bit of cow shit that was on the garden, but that won't affect the aerodynamic performance. It is raining. Are these your kite friends? Yes. Yes. My plan. The giveaway was that they're all <laughs> carrying kites. Very pretty ones as well. Look at this. Have a look. Have a look. Here comes the kite contingent. Abdul, I'm worried about the weather. Abdul seems blissfully unconcerned by the gathering storm clouds. This kite is made out of nothing, really. Some bamboo sticks, a bit of glue, a bit of string, a bit of nylon, but it's a very living thing. When you touch it, especially now that the breeze has picked up a bit, it sort of trembles and quivers a bit, like it's dying to get away. We are but kites, said an Indian poet, and God is the string, or in this case, Abdul. Are we ready to go? Yes, Can we go? you fly. Okay. Continue. I'm releasing okay. now. That's all right. He knows what he's doing. He's a kite expert. But evidently not a weather expert. Oh, it's getting too windy. Oh, no. Oh. It's face planted. Get the table, get the table. The table's blowing away. The people are blowing away. Keep flying the kite, Abdul. I'm going to help with the tidy up operation. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, this is a disaster. Half finished kite, yeah? It's OK, OK. How can we manage to balls up something as simple as flying a kite on a nice deck? It's unbelievable. Right, gazebo. OK, do you want me to carry something? Sure. Right, situation update, it's raining. Um, so we're hiding in the lavatories whilst it blows over. See, the thing's flying off the lost part of the roof. Yeah, I think we can salvage the sea. Do you? Yeah, I think so. I think we... <laughs> but we might just have to wait for it to blow over, I reckon. It was so lovely when it started. The garden was beautiful. The sun was out, you could hear birds. <laughs> Who could have foreseen all that water? No one. Well, apart from that fortune teller bloke back in Mumbai. After an hour or so cowering in the bogs, the returning sun means it's time for Abdul to show why he's the number one in the kite world. It's a suitcase of kites. They're already attached to each other and very carefully folded in. And Abdul releases them one at a time and gets them flying. And then he can release another one and it's pulled up. The more kites you have going up, the more lift you're getting, obviously, but also the heavier the line becomes. But he reckons he can get a hundred up. The wind is better as you go higher. I think that's 23 kites. That's almost a quarter of the way there. If he relaxes, they turn to complete chaos. But with a little tug, they all go back into line again. Can I feel, feel the tension in the string now? Yes, one by one. One by one, go. OK? Yep. But don't leave me. Oh, yes, it's got a nice pull in it. It feels good. Lines up. Abdul. Don't do that. Abdul. Abdul. Where's he gone? <laughs> do you think the rest of the people in Udaipur look out of the window and go, ah, Abdul's out? It is good. Good yeah, wind. Yeah. Good wind. Yeah, very nice colour. It's beautiful, yes. yeah. 